And since I forgot to mention it during the episode, there is also a world download in the description uh, where you can, you can get the world as it is at the end of uh, this episode. Welcome back to another episode of Stacia Expert Mode, where I think I'm about to dig into some lava. This could be an issue. Um, but I've just completed a rather large mining trip, and we have 21 ancient debris. I don't think I've got anything else in my bags, but yeah, we got a bit of stuff, and the portal is apparently above us. So yeah, I think I should have enough blaze left in our smeltery. Uh, that I can pop back. Now, we did a big bit of mining. I can probably see it if we look at the cave layers. Yeah, I was way down here. Um, I updated the pack sort of partway between um, starting the mining and finishing the mining. So this is our normal branch mining in the nether. And then I ended up just going on a big trip and then coming all the way back, dodging lava. And yeah, 21 ancient debris. Which is not too bad. We should be able to upgrade our gear. Ah, uh, to netherite. Which I mean, this is modded. There's probably better stuff than netherite that we can get. Yeah, we can probably already get it now. Oh, I just don't know what it is yet. So, see you guys at the smeltery when we find out how much 21 ancient debris becomes in terms of netherite ingots. Uh, 10. And 64 millibuckets of molten netherite, plus uh, two nuggets in there. Which is, yep, maybe I should have uh, worked out how many I'd actually get in terms of full ingots. But this should be enough to upgrade some of our stuff. And I think I want to do, like, my sword. Because he's got mending and I'm pretty sure I put that on the hilt. So that should be fine. Um, and our hammer should be a high enough tier to, to do this now. So sword, diamond blade. Now we could do, like, a heavy blade. Um... That would do, I can't read what that says, something. So damage would be less. Uh, probably because we'll be losing uh, sharpness too. Um, or do we just go with a normal? So what's machete? Machete's like a cutting one. Cutting efficiency. So no, I think we'll just go basic blade. Material hardness increases damage. So we, yeah, we're losing 2.5 damage, deals like damage, but that's because we're losing sharpness too, right? And our honing of damage 4, that explains everything. That'll do, we now have a netherite sword. He's still got a makeshift diamond guard. A socket, socket a gem. We could do that. We could do that, like we've got our tetra gem somewhere, I don't know where that went. Like, what if we try to put a diamond in there? That's going to increase our damage by 0.8. Increase our speed. Reduce our durability. Maybe we go for, like, a perfect diamond if we've got one of them. And I've got some geodes. I've actually got a few geodes. A little bit all over the show. So we get a pristine lapis. I think this would give us like luck, right? If we were to socket pristine lapis, lapis plus into it. Experience from killing entities and destroying blocks yields honing progress at two times the ratio. Ooh. Sure. Oh, he looks weird now. I could change the loop to like a counterweight. What, what does this do? Increases the speed and durability, reduces the reach. Hmm. I guess, just because I don't know what it does. Maybe that was a mistake. And then I guess doing a shovel could be kind of cool. Um, shovel head. Got another right shovel. We'll put mending on him. Our axe. I'll do that and I'll shut the door because it's open. 
And I guess we'll make the, the butt of the tool also a netherite one. I might not do my double ended axe and I'll just hold on to these netherite. Because you never know when netherite's going to be handy. And we'll probably just get rid of these nuggets. That's right, I'll go check up on the villagers. Um, we'll probably be able to get some trades in. Um, I spent a bit of time uh, uh, in between episodes, like mining and stuff. Actually, we've probably lost the chunk loading when I updated. Hey. Get out of here. Oh, Elytra. Yep. It was totally worth it. Yeah. And a quick power nap. Not bad. Four books of mending. Um, we actually had like a stack and a bit of emeralds, but uh, now we're down to two. Now we're down to two. And can I buy some food with that? Somebody sell food. Like actual food. One of you guys does. We can get some cookies. Nice. Oh, they actually don't restore much health at all. Um, can mitigate that, and I'm going to have to get out of here because these guys are so noisy. But uh, Gormand 3 means food gives you extra hunger back. Yeah. And we might actually use this Rick's Ironclad Rusty Crown of Tenacity because uh, more more armor than any other right helmet. helmet. Just needs like protection and uh, mending on it. So, uh, what are we going to put mending on? This has mending, this has mending. We could do it on our crossbow, but I'll probably end up going for a bow. Um, we need to get silk touch at some point too. But let's go with uh, shovel needs mending. And yeah, let's put it on the handle. Cool. And... X, you can have mending on your handle. Nice. I guess we could do a hammer. Maybe I'll hold off. Maybe we'll put mending on this iron helm. Ah, not in there. Yeah. Oh, it made the name weird. Sure. Well, I mean, it feels wrong to be going back to an iron helmet, but, um... It actually is a better helm. Um, so we'll put this in. Those villages are so noisy. I've got like a chest where I'm putting like armor and stuff I'm not currently using. You can go in there. Got an extra mending book for something. And I'm probably just going to keep you. Use, I'll hold on to this so we can level this up. So, alright, I guess. Get away from those villagers. I could probably go for some enchantments actually. See if we can get something decent, but then after I've done that, uh, unless we get anything cool, what do we work towards today? Um, going for some kind of item storage would probably be not a bad thing. We could go for refined lasers, but I don't really have like a central base set up yet, so I think I'll hold off doing that. Um, we could work towards going for like electric furnace, crusher, and compressor. Make plates with that using a hammer. Has speed upgrades. I kind of don't desperately need. I mean, the electric furnace would be nice, but we don't desperately need this stuff. Um, and we could make this. This isn't too bad. We've made all of this sort of stuff before, so we could go that route. Um, even if we did that. Oh, I was going to say, just try to click that. We can't do that. So we need to complete these before we can do that. Um, if we did that, do we need that before we can get into this? These quests? Looks like everything starts here. Metallurgic Infuser. So we'd have to get into Astral Sorcery anyway. Some power. Okay, cool. And just whipping up some Bismuth Steel. Now... Oh, we can make a bracelet. I mean, I guess we probably want to make one of them at some point. I don't know what it does. I'm assuming it's like a bauble. Cool. Well, we got some bismuth steel. Um, it's a sonic gear material. Maybe we should make some 
Millable and Lustrious. Yeah, maybe we need to look into Silence Gear. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of enjoying going through Tetra. But I think I've got the stuff now. Um, to complete these quests. Now, there's one in here I didn't really want to do. But looks like it's required for unlocking this. And that is the compressor. Um, now, it's used for making plates. But it turns two ingots into one plate. Whereas our plate press turns one ingot into one plate. So, totally not worth making this machine. Um, I guess maybe if you haven't done any immersive engineering stuff, but then, yeah. Not super, super useful. So electric furnace, gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Nothing here was particularly amazing. Heating elements were just like four copper and one redstone alloy. But done. We'll get the compressor because we have the quest for it. And the crusher is actually probably gonna be kind of handy. Um, so the crusher here is probably obsolete now. Um, and this has upgrades, upgrade slots, cool. Um, I'm assuming there's Drusus energy efficiency, processing speed, silver, redstone and upgrade case. I mean, kind of expensive, but I'm assuming they're pretty cool. Well, let's pick this to work as a shovel. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool silence gear stuff. Like, armor could be actually quite cool. To make, like, some, some silent gear armor. But, hey. We got these machines. Um, I'm probably going to want to set them up in a different place than that. I guess we could kind of automate them and hook them into our power we've got up here. And as people mentioned, it would probably be worthwhile upgrading this guy. Um, oh, my inventory is full of junk already. Uh, let's get our, our tool backpack and we'll just put the stuff in here for now. Just for now, because we're kind of working on it. Yeah, I think we'll upgrade the LV capacitor to a higher tier one. Um, because he's just going to store more power. And the recipe was was pretty cheap too. So when we can MV one, we've got Electrum. We've got this stuff. Then we can use that to make the HV one, which can be used for HV power, but it also can just store a low voltage power. Like it only matters what sort of cable you put on it for how like the voltage that comes out. As far as I'm aware. So yeah, I think I'll upgrade that dude. And we'll set up somewhere. Maybe where like the stuff is. Might tidy this up a little bit, maybe get rid of this this little bit here. Just recess this in. Because it's kind of a little bit wasted space, and we'll just move those those these barrels up to here. And we'll just automate like the, the crusher into furnace situation, at least. So we've got like a chest, put stuff in, gets crushed, gets smelted, ends up in another chest. So another couple of hoppers. Um, and we might even look at... We could have made wooden hoppers. Maybe we just make wooden hoppers. Like they're just slower hoppers, right? No, I guess we'll make the, the big ones. But we might also look at making a colossal chest. I think it's going to be handy for crafting stuff out of. If we can get the Tinker's bench and use it kind of like a extremely budget AE system. Like how you put the Tinker's crafting station beside a barrel and then you can like, from the workbench, craft stuff from the, using stuff in the barrel. Um, and if we hook that right beside a colossal chest, then I should probably... It's about Colossal, right? So we'll whip up a Colossal chest as well, because Colossal chest core, well, that's that's pretty cheap. And we'll hop some more hoppers too. I think that'll be cool. So, be back in a minute once we've crafted up. Uh, or we'll get the stuff for the capacitor and Colossal chest. And I don't actually know where we're going to put this Colossal chest. Because he's pretty big. Surprisingly, a Colossal chest is big. Um, I... Guess in the corner here is kind of unused space. Like a three by three big chest with the workbench beside it. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I had to reset this up because I needed to make a bunch of plates uh, in between. But 
We can now upgrade to a MV capacitor. And upgrade to an HV capacitor. It looks like that was a couple of quests. And if we had our hammer, engineer's hammer. Make that an output. I don't know if we can actually see how much this holds. And also full sails on the windmill, so he's going to go even faster, which is going to be great for our power situation. Yeah, we have it. He's storing some stuff. I probably should have um, measured what he was doing before, but I didn't. Quick power nap. Nice. So we got some, some better power storage. Um, I've got the bits and pieces we need to make ourselves a colossal chest. Now these are kind of cool. Um, I have experienced them being a little bit laggy in the past. I think it's just because they hold so much stuff. But uh, we'll give it a go. <laughs> and I mean, that's just kind of cool, right? It's a little bit silly in terms of like realism, but um, I think it's going to be handy. And what I don't know is if we can just grab that crafting table. And if we put him beside or next to this dude, doesn't pick up the inventory. He doesn't. Um, does he do it with normal chests or is that... Yeah, okay, so he works with normal chests, but not with the big fella. Um, I guess we'll have him here anyway. And it'll just be handy for reaching across and, and grabbing stuff. We can just put like all our rods and stuff in there. Well, actually, we, we probably want them in the sky, right? So it kind of seems like this factory is going to be our main, our main base, kind of. Uh, like we've still got our enchanting's over at the other house, our forge stuff's over here if we need it. Um... Kind of still got a farm area here we don't really use too often. Yeah, I think we're right. And then we'll eventually get a magic area over there too. But let's set up our new crusher and stuff over here. Um, so yeah, tidy this up a little bit. Uh, still not sure how I want to do this. Crusher, so items are going to go into the crusher. Ah, uh, we probably might want to, because we've got as a quest reward somewhere. Ah, oh, that's these things. So basic item pipe. I think they might need, yeah, an extractor attachment, which needs a piston, which we've made some pistons, so. Okay, a couple of pistons, and then we can make the extractor thingy, this thing. And I guess we'll make three of these guys. Cool. And then I assume we can. I guess we still want to do kind of what we had going on. So the crusher. And I guess, you know, a hopper would still be f fine because they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, misplaced where I put them. That's cool. Hopper out of this guy. Cool. So ore goes into the crusher. It comes out of the crusher and goes into the electric furnace. So we may run into the situation with the stuff that doesn't do that. And how did these cables work? Um, do we have to connect the... Oh... So we put the cable there. I'm assuming stuff doesn't automatically come through. Coal generator. You're kind of like backup power, right? Um, so copper. Are you going to automatically extract? No? Cool. Um, do you need this thing. That's really not what I wanted to happen there. So how do we... Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, redstone mode ignored. 
should you not extract? You work on there. Wait. Wait, you inserted back into the... What is going on? So that's... Wrong. Okay, let's try you up up a block. So, crushes... Doesn't... Oh, there we go. Goes into this guy, and once we hook up power, that'll be fine. Okay, so you can only come out the bottom of this dude by the look of it. Let's test it. So, steel dust... Oh, no, it does work. So, they possibly just can't be beside each other. Alright. How ugly is this going to look? I mean, not great, not terrible. So now you're going to get power from there, so we can move this guy. We can get rid of this dude. Hook you up to there as well. There we go. Now they're both getting power. Hopefully we can get this extractor to work. Not like that. So we put copper in here. Ah, oh, perfect. You're going to go into this guy. You're going to smelt it. Um, perfect. Um, and then we'll do something to tidy this up. I guess. And I mean, this is kind of going to work. We've got, we got our smelting area in the back here. Which isn't great because I also wanted to run like some other stuff. Well, there we go. We got a bit of crusher and an electric smelter. We can uh, double our ores and not have to worry about filling up a, a smeltery. And we got this big chest. It's a pretty big chest. And uh, yeah, things are going well. But we'll come back next time. And uh, I guess we're, we're carrying on with some more of the quests we got left to do. It should be cool. I think we might start looking, looking to get it in some magic. But hey. It's been Classic Duff, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Flying while facing this way is really hard. 